Brown algae seaweeds like kelp and tzatziki can remove radiation from the body because it contains iodine that blocks radioactive iodine from being absorbed by the thyroid. Seaweeds were used to treat victims exposed to radiation after the nuclear bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II and after the nuclear power plant meltdown of Chernobyl. A group of surviving macrobiotic doctors and their patients from the atomic bombing of Nagasaki, Japan avoided radiation sickness by eating brown rice, seaweeds like sargasm and aziki, and miso, a Japanese seasoning made by fermenting soybeans that is effective in detoxifying the body of radiation. There were two hospitals side by side from each other that got exposed to atomic radiation. At one hospital, people ate miso and they all survived, while the people at the other hospital that did not eat miso died. These three foods were also a dietary staple for people living at ground zero, mostly orphans, criminals, the aged, and mentally ill that were able to survive while being exposed to radiation. Radioactive iodine is known to cause cancer as it builds up in the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland contributes to many functions of the human body by producing the hormones that regulate body heat temperature, metabolic rate, growth, and development. Kelp seaweeds like Digitata kelp has one of the highest amounts of iodine, ranging from 1,000 to 1,500 micrograms in one gram, while one gram of aziki contains about 600 to 700 micrograms of iodine. The daily recommended intake of iodine for adults is 150 micrograms, with a safe upper limit of 1,100 micrograms. Too much iodine can cause hyperthyroidism, usually from supplementation, that block the synthesis of thyroid hormones. Signs of hyperthyroidism include rapid weight loss from increased metabolism, irregular or rapid heartbeat, increased blood pressure, increased body temperature, sweating and feelings of fatigue. As the thyroid attempts to produce hormones, it may enlarge. Many different cultures around the world eat seaweed with gorgogen foods. Gorgogens are foods that help reduce and counter excessive iodine levels in the body, making it perfect for people who indulge in seaweed. Asian cuisine mixes in gorgogens with dishes and is why they can eat excessive amounts of iodine-rich foods without getting a swollen thyroid. Foods like bok choy, broccoli, collard greens, cabbage, cauliflower, spinach, and cassava are great gorgogen vegetables. Peaches, pears, plums, strawberries, and tangerines are great gorgogen fruits. The soybeans that are used to make miso are also a gorgogen, so eating a variety of plant foods with seaweed will balance iodine levels. You can soak the seaweed in water for 30 minutes and remove it from the water afterwards. Most of the iodine will be in the water. You can store the water for later use in soups. You can also experiment with soaking the seaweed in boiling water, as iodine will be released in the air as gas. The dried form of seaweed can last for two to three years and can come in handy when you need an iodine boost.